Okay, so I totally forgot to let y'all know that um, I was highly disappointed because I found out, well, kinda, it's weird. I finally saw that that MAC powder was not matching my skin whatsoever. It made me look really ashen, if you will, and that's not what's up. So, along with the powder, the mineralized skin finish powder, which was like, I forgot what color, but um, it's like a shade or two too light for me. So along with the powder, I gave my sister my old foundation for MAC. The, not really old foundation, I mean, it was the only one I have. My first foundation, I forgot what color, but it's totally her color. I did her makeup the other day for some reason. I was, I was practicing makeup on her for Halloween because she wants to be a go-go dancer. So I was like, okay, we're going to do Twiggy makeup on you. But, um... I wound up getting off track and then I was like, okay, I'm going to do like some weird makeup. So anyways, I did like some colorful thing and then I was like, okay, I'm going to do your foundation too. So I got that foundation out and it matched perfectly. Um, and by the way, that um, Revlon color stay did not match me, nor did it match my sister. Um... So, it really makes her look really white, pale white. So, um, I guess I'll keep it and use it as like a highlight and then set that with powder with my sheer finish, whatever, from that. Um, but yeah, I'm giving her a lot of stuff. I'm giving her a lot of my brushes, a lot of, um... Uh, a lot of stuff so um but I did try all made my mom has all made like new powder or something and it goes really well with my skin and she's pretty good at picking out good colors for her skin so I'm probably gonna go buy the all may but what I have been thinking about also is buying a powder foundation powder foundations are better for oily skin people um, I forgot why they say, but I can kind of rationalize it in my head, but I can't really verbalize it. That sounded so profound. Um, anyways, so, I'm probably gonna look into buying some Clinique, but I'm probably gonna go to a counter here in the mall and make sure it matches for real, for real. Because in the store, when I tried on MAC, it matched better. And I came home and I was all, you know, it matches, but it doesn't. I need a shade darker or two. Um, but me, I don't know. Um, I'd rather have, like, a foundation that was too light. And then a powder to set it that made everything even toned, you know, rather than a perfect match foundation and a light powder that can screw up something really bad. But, um, yeah, and a lot of people like their faces to be a little bit lighter. And I can understand where you're coming from, but when my face looks ashen, like I didn't put on lotion or something that's not what I want so um yeah I gave <sighs> I gave my sister all that I haven't given her my um, powder yet but I will along with some other things I have some foundation brushes I want to give her I have a lot of stuff oh and I bought a, um some more products from elf I'll probably do a review or just showing you guys period um the, over the weekend maybe or next week sometime um it'll probably be next week though because i have a paper due on monday and some tests next week midterms are coming 
next week. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, I think that's all I had to tell y'all. Oh, and I got a New Yorkie. Or my mom got us a New Yorkie. Her name is Coco. She's asleep right now, so I can't really show her to y'all. But in my next video, whenever that is, I'll try to show her to y'all. So, yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that's it. So, I'll um, talk to y'all later. Bye.